Yes. Whoa. <coughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a review and swatches on the new Jeffree Star Blue Blood Palette. This palette retails for $52, I believe on the Morphe and the Jeffree Star website. Um, it is 18 pressed powder pigmented shades. Um, and as all of his products are, this is vegan and cruelty free. Obviously, I could not wait to film the video before I opened the box because I'm very impatient and I was very much looking forward to this palette. His palette is one of the first ones that I have purchased um, just due to the shades. Um, I haven't loved any of the other ones that he came out with before. Um, I was going to get the last release, but um, they were more like orangey um, colors and I don't really wear those that often. So I, when I saw an all blue palette, I was like, uh, sign me up. I had to make sure that I got it um, and I did. So when I got home from work yesterday, this beautiful little pink package was sitting on my steps. Um, Got the Jeffree Star tape, obviously, in the bright, bright pink box. Um, and ship from his truly. When you open up this, and again, I already opened it, so I packaged it back as best I could. Um, opens up, and you've got these um, blue tissue papers. The first one is this dark royal blue, and the last one is like a white with the dark um, royal blue and the light blue. Um, on it. Blue buds, obviously. Here we go. And then once you open up this, this is where the palette is. It's going to be wrapped in bubble wrap so that it doesn't crack. And then on that you pull out the Blue Buds palette. So this is the packaging before you actually get to the palette. Um, it's this nice matte um, soft wood with the, um, the glossy label. Um, if you look onto the back of it, it's going to have all of the ingredients for each one of the shades. And this is where we get the coffin. So Jeffree Star wanted to make a coffin shaped palette, which I am so, so, so in love with. Um, it's got this beautiful metal clasp, on the back, it does not have any of the ingredients, but it does remind you that it is vegan and cruelty free. One thing I noticed when I had originally uh, previewed it on my Snapchat is that it is tough to open with one hand, so you do need to use both hands. With that being said, let's open her up. See what I'm talking about? All right. Here she is in all her glory. Like I said, 18 packed shades. Um, we've got some mattes, we've got some, some glitter. Um, all good, good things. Um, first glance, obviously, because I haven't touched it, it looks like some of them are actually kind of lopsided. Um, it looks like they're kind of falling out. I don't know if you guys can see that with um, that first shade, but it looks like the pans are kind of coming out. Um, but other than that, it looks, you know, it looks good. I like how he used different um, pressings on each one of these things. There's the money bag, the diamond, the crown, um, the Jeffree Star logo. Then we got the lightning bolts, we got the lips, and we have the coffin, of course, down here for the undertaker. So let's get in and start swatching. All right, for the first round of swatches, I am going to start with the top row of this. Um, first one I'm going to dip into is um, Colonan. It's this nice white um, shiny shadow. Okay. I'm going to put it on my arm just to show you guys. Oh wow. Yeah, that's real pretty. I'm probably going to use that on my inner eye a lot. Um, next shadow I'm going to dip into is the mint tea one. This nice um, pastel blue, pastel blue, it's green. Um, 
very pretty on the finger. Let's see what we can get going here. Ooh, okay, I like that. Crystal Flesh is gonna be next. This is pretty, um, like a rosy pink rose gold color. And I am uh, wiping my finger off with a makeup wipe off camera before I dip back into these. Oh, that's another really pretty one. You guys can see. Next, I'm gonna dip into I'm Cold. It's this nice, um, very light blue. So what I'm noticing about these um, matte colors, oh, look at that. Yeah, there we go. Um, these matte colors is they're kind of chalky. Which I don't mind, I just know some people are not fans of chalky eyeshadow. Next is Untouchable. Pretty pink. Um, definitely light. Um, I'm hoping it'll build. And then last one is gonna be this priceless color. That's pretty. Very nice. All right, so that is the first row, guys. I'm gonna wipe it off and we will go to the second row. All right, so the second row of this palette is more of the blues. We're gonna start getting into some darker colors here. Um, first one I'm going to swatch is the Power, which is a nice um, navy blue. Power. Ooh, I really like that shade. I can't wait to play with this and actually make looks out of it. Um, next one is Blue Blood. It's got the crown on it. Take a clean finger. Ooh, I'm liking what I see. Wow. These colors are very pigmented. I'm not mad about it whatsoever. All right, next one um, is Deceased. I'm curious about this because Jeffree Star has a lipstick named Deceased, and I believe, if I'm not wrong, it is purple. Um, I know he tries to stay away from reusing names that are different colors and whatnot, um, but whatever. So it's another nice dark, dark, dark blue. Okay, so it's a shimmer. It's a shimmer shadow. It's not one of the matte ones. Very, very pretty. Next one is Ice Tray. It is a shimmer shadow. Oh, wow. Jeffree Star, you have outdone yourself. Oh, my God. I am living for these colors. Next, Blue Monday. This color right here with the um, lightning bolt. Guys, I'm not even, like, pushing hard on these either. Okay, so that one's actually kind of purpley. And then last one, Flourishing. I like that, the color, um, the name of the color. It's kind of a greenish um, color for that. Oh, let me get a little more. I was just looking because it looks like there's a small crack. It's okay. And the last. Oh yeah, that's really pretty too. All right, let's get in and do that third row. So what I did notice as I was wiping it off, it kind of stained my skin a little bit and you can kind of still see it. Um, obviously I'm only using a um, makeup wipe so it will come off, but um, just something to note and I'll when I go through this one, I'll show you guys on camera what it does. Um, so dipping into this nice nude color called Wealthy that I just dug my freaking claw into. So I'm gonna swirl around in it. Make sure my arm's dry. 
Okay, skin color. So that is probably going to be my base for every eyeshadow look that I do with this palette. Um, next one, Celebrity Skin, and that's what I was talking about, his lipstick colors. He does have a lipstick called Celebrity Skin. I believe I have that one. Actually, I know I have that one. Um, so let's see what this, what she does. Okay, nice nude. Very pretty, very pretty. So that's what I like about this palette, is it seems like I'm gonna get some nice um, subtle looks, but I can also go obnoxious um, if I feel that I need to. Um, this next shade is going to be Entitled. Very pretty in the pan. Let's see how she is on skin. Okay, again, kind of chalky, but I'm not mad about it. I can predict there's gonna be a lot of fallout. Ooh. A lot of fallout, but oh my god. So it's worth it. So maybe I um next one's gonna be this ocean ice. Wow. Look at that color. So again, chalky, but let's see what she does. Look at that pigment, and there's still more. Look at the pigment, guys. And then we're gonna go into Cremated, which is a dark, dark blue color. Actually, it kinda looks more greenish, but let's see. So it looks like a dark green. Looks like on camera gray, but if you look, it's like a grayish, greenish blue. And then last but not least, good wrestler right here, uh, Undertaker. It is a dark blue and it has the coffin print. Guys, let me just say. All right, so very similar to um, Cremated. Very, very similar. But this is the last line of the Blue Bloods palette swatched on my arm. Um, really, really can't even see wealthy. It just might be because of my skin color. Um, is very similar. But other than that, these colors are honestly beautiful. And I'm very, very impressed with the quality of each one of the colors. Um, though I did find some of them to be kind of chalky. Pigment is just outstanding. Let me show you guys what I was talking about with it staining a little bit. I'm gonna use, I've been using the same towel, so it's been kind of used, but you see that? You can still see the line after, you know, three swipes. And it's kind of turning my arm blue, but okay. She's pigmented, all right. Okay, this is interesting. All right, so my final remarks regarding the Blue Buds palette. Do I love it? Yes. Is it worth the fifty-two dollars? Also, yes, if, this is where I'm gonna put a little asterisk, if you use blue eyeshadows. Um, as you saw when we looked at it and we were swatching it, um, there's not much room for creativity if you are not a bright, um, obnoxious eyeshadow wearer, um, or if you don't wear blues. It would just be a pointless palette for you to buy. I anticipate using a lot of blues because it does look good with my eyes. Um, but for the, the nude shades, the transition shades, they're okay. Um, the bang for the buck, if we're going to say that, is in these blue colors. The pigments are awesome. The only negative that I had, um, regarding that is they are going to have a lot of fallout, I can predict. Um, obviously I'm going to do a video where I make a couple looks with this, um, 
to test to see if that fallout is real. Um, I'm hoping it's not, but I can anticipate it is by the way that it was chalky. Um, with that being said, this video is finished. I love the palette. I don't regret buying it. I would buy it again. Um, like I told you guys at the beginning of the video, $52. It has 18 different pressed pigmented shades. Um, it is vegan and cruelty free. Currently it is sold out. Um, I don't know. I'm assuming he would probably restock it within the next month or so. Um, because of the demand that it did have. Um, 